Hi everyone, another day making extra cash with me. Today I'm on Uber Eats app only and then um, this week has been quite slow. Like it was busy Sunday and Monday for me. Usually Monday is very like slow and boring for me and I get something like reasonable for like Tuesday and Wednesday. Like a reasonable pay for like, like six hours of delivering food. But Tuesday and today is Wednesday, it has been very slow. You can watch my other video, how much I made on the slowest Tuesday ever for me, ever since I started delivering on um, Uber Eats and DoorDash. I couldn't get any schedule on DoorDash for Wednesday, for Thursday, but um, Friday I will. So once it gets slow, I will have to depend on both apps to um, hopefully get like orders in and keep moving because right now I'm, I'm in California but I'm not delivering in Los Angeles I'm not delivering in Los Angeles I'm like in some other cities nearby and it has been like slow at first I was in this area with a lot of restaurant but about 30 minutes in there were no pings nothing and now I'm already an hour into delivering and I have been getting low offers like i declined one that i forgot to screenshot it was four dollars for five miles as a first offer i didn't want to do that the pay was uh, less than the mileage to be driven next i got i've never got such a low paying offer before ever since starting delivering ever since i started delivering on the food applications like DoorDash and Uber Eats. The next one I had to decline was $2.50 or 0.4 miles. So under a mile, it was just a little bit too low for me to kind of take it and, you know, drive out, pick up the food, drive out. Like imagine you have to wait, like even having to wait a little bit to get paid $2.50, that would like not be worth it. So I decided to take an offer to grab Chipotle to deliver for $6.06, 3.7 miles. I took that one because I was desperate. So I thought that was okay, $6 for 3.7 miles. And they kind of like um, gave me another one to grab Jamba Juice. It was just nearby in the same plaza. It was like a stack order. And I was like, is this worth it? Should I take it? But I did take it because I thought um, the homes are probably nearby each other and it was, and I wanted to get like moving. I cannot turn off the AC. So my car is always turned on with the AC turned on. So the first hour in, I've only made $7.56 this hour as of now. And that is the lowest I have ever made in an hour delivering. Usually it would be like, 10 is considered like low but then at least that was like for one order so it was more than this this is like delivering to two house and i only made like seven dollars 56 cents in an hour in of like i waited for 30 minutes then i dropped off two orders so that's already like an hour 14 minutes and now i'm at another place good thing about this new location is that it's shaded but i'm not quite sure if i'm going to get any orders coming in right now because i'm near a walmart like it would recommend you on the phone of, on the app if, when you have it on if you're on uber eats like where is the like where is the store that is busy right now to go and park to wait for orders so this is one of the location they say to come near but i am not certain when we'll get the next order so i'll update you today i'll probably be doing this for another four hours so about five hours of delivering on a very slow day, slow and hot day. I will update you how much I will make today. I am done with today's delivery and I am out here now in Los Angeles because one of the delivery took me out here. Um, it was such a slow day and I like I didn't take like offers where it's equivalent to the miles or less than the miles but I got one for like $15, let me double check. So lastly, last time when 
the last time I sat and spoke to you, it was about an hour in that I told you that I made only seven something for that one hour and it was super slow. I decided to go seven minutes away from where I was earlier and I went in from a Chick-fil-A because there will be an order from Chick-fil-A for sure. So I did get like not long after I arrived at Chick-fil-A, I did get a, an order from Chick-fil-A and that was for like $9.71. Let me double check. Um, $9.17. That includes a $2 tip. So $9.17 for like a seven miles total. You know, I want to keep like moving. After that, I went to Spanglish Kitchen. $8.74 for 2.8 miles. And that includes a $4.97 tip. $4.97 tip. After that, I had to go to Popeyes. This is $9.69 total. At first, it gave me an offer for $13 to pick up Popeyes and go to a liquor store. They canceled the liquor store once, but that was canceled. So that was canceled. And then I got $9.69 instead to drop just Popeyes off for 3.5 miles still. And then, um, and then that's it. I was still waiting like around and stuff. And then, so I went to Costco and I got gas. There's a lot of people in the lines, like a lot of people when I went to Costco to fill up my gas. I spent, it was like one, um, I was almost at empty, but just like one, just like not completely empty. Love it when it's full like that. But after like, two days or something maybe it'll come to like the to half tank so after when i was done at costco i finally got another order i that was around seven already so i thought oh, okay i'll take this order even though it was for 15 dollars and it says it was 12 miles like around 12.1 miles and i thought i was just going to do that and then i would be done but then as i was going to go to that they're like oh pick up oh yeah that was for waba grill waba grill said to pick the food up there and drive 12.1 miles to drop it off and um for like 15.56 but as i was going to pick that up they gave me a stacked order like another order along the way to pick up panda express and um plus an additional like 0 0.8 miles so i picked the panda express and then i went to drop that off first because the home was just like around panda it was closer then i would drop off lava grill after but this panda express place even though it was closed it was kind of confusing because i went to the front door of the apartment I, I couldn't open it i'm like uh, you know the apartment buildings where it's like a b c d f g g j or whatever and then but i was confused because i went to the back you know how there's like you can go in and then park your car and the door to go in the apartment was just right there but i thought that was the front of another person's home so i went all the way to the front of it and the handle of the door you're supposed to like press it a little then push it in and it was like a dark kind of like apartment where like like a b c d f g i see g and then like i can't find j and then j is like you gotta like walk back a little bit so it was like a like dark apartment it was kind of creepy i finally spot that room and i found you and then he came out and got his order and then i didn't realize that waba grill the 12 miles was going to take me to los angeles but then um yeah I, so i went to deliver waba grill finally they're like oh open the gate and then put it on the porch the food but their gate it says beware of dog there was a sign that says beware of dog like everywhere so I decided to just uh, message the person and said do I push the gate to like leave your food because like like I'm outside or something because their gate and the door is like they can literally just like come out and grab the food so that's exactly what they did just came out and grabbed the food I'm so glad because I would just have just hung it at the the fence or something i'm not sure if that's gonna make them mad but the signs kind of like scare me you know i don't want to like go in and get like eaten by a dog or something um knock on woods almost eight i usually end my shift because it gets dark especially when it gets dark and i'm here in los angeles 
like uh, Los Angeles is like a like a busy city. The business is good, but you know how like there are news about crimes and everything, so it's not good to be here out at night. So, but I grab another order because it just says 1.1 miles for six dollars six cents to Roots and Rye. I finally uh, found out that Roots and Rye is like an acai place. And then there's a lot of acai joints opening up and it looks like it's so cool in there like meaning the like the their air their ac temperature is like nice and cool in there i picked it up there was like a long line here in la it's like i love their like like this building structures the arts on the wall the business seems very like very um like it's doing well a lot of business that has just opened up it was like a plaza with like the food so Fortunately, there was like a, a parking space because you know how sometimes in LA you can't find like the business doesn't have its own parking and you just crazy in the streets and you get like a ticket like every minute that you just like leave your car um, parked and didn't read all the signs and stuff. So Roots and Rye was an offer for $6.06 for like just a mile. And then strangely, the streets here, like I see the sign, it says, um, it says the street's name but when i turned left it told me to that i was there which is supposed to be like an apartment building okay so i was waiting for the tips of that lady that i dropped roots and rye and it finally um came in so now i know my total total because uber is like sometimes you gotta wait for the total to know so then now it concludes that i made $62.67 today. Yeah, so the lady that was waiting for Roots and Rye, she was like outside on the street in front of her apartment. And then I didn't see her and she's like, where are you? And I'm like, are you near a school or something? She's like, no, um, she's not near a school. So it was weird that the map on Uber told me that I was there, but I was actually on the other side for some reason. So I put up the map on my own map, like on my phone's map. And then it directed me to go straight and then go to the other side like i was there but it was like another street that was like the first time that happened to me but sometimes you just gotta like navigate use another like map app or something and just like once you're done with it like finish with like a delivery like and that's like to say like a like a hard one like some crazy apartment and you're like oh my god where's that room and then you finally um find um the room and stuff you'll that's like off the chest and you're like okay that was the correct address that was um done with and you are now paid this conclusion of how much i made it started out really slow and so 62 67 for about five hours um it's about 12 53 an hour but then most is like mo the beginning of the day i was like in the car for like half an hour and stuff before i was getting an order and then once i delivered the first one i came back in the car and I waited for another like half an hour so when i'm like dividing like five hours like an hour could be like me not even getting an order so the active hours divided by the pay on the app it'll actually look like you're actually paid more than calculating all the time you're out here like sometimes you're driving to an area where you will get an like offer and stuff and your breaks and everything so that is it and uh, i'll update you again on some other videos i mean on the next video like how this goes so far for me so thank you guys for watching if you like this please hit like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next video